Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now June 1st of 2021 and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2's finale, a lot of Star Wars fans have been very curious and skeptical at the same exact time about exactly what both John, Dave, and George are up to when it comes to the overall new Star Wars universe. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Also make sure to check me out at MikeZero1 on Twitter. Now what's really exciting about the future of Star Wars is that we do know that Kathleen Kennedy no longer has creative power over the majority of the material given that John and Dave are getting more creative power. They recently got big promotions over at Lucasfilm, which is great news by the way. Given that Kathleen Kennedy is only working on the Acolyte TV series strictly with Leslie Headland, this really does show us a light at the end of the tunnel of what's to come for the overall new universe. So moving ahead, we do know that George, John, and Dave, they are working on shows like the Ahsoka series. Uh, they're also, you know, primarily involved with Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett. Somewhat involved also with the Kenobi TV show. The only show as of right now that's in production that Dave and John are not writing and or directing is the Andor TV series. So they don't really have all that much of a connection with that. But when we look ahead to the future, more TV show announcements coming this November to December, as well as next May at Star Wars Celebration. So keep your eyes open for that. That's going to be a big, big month because also new movies will be announced and they're going to be announcing new books, novels, and comics and all the new lore and such that's really going to cater to the hardcore Star Wars fans. So the thing that's been happening right now behind the scenes with Kathleen Kennedy does speak volumes about how Disney now perceives Kathleen Kennedy and her work with Star Wars and why it's really showing us that she's really not in the best place right now when it comes to the Star Wars franchise. So with that being said, given that Kathleen Kennedy is currently working closely with writer Leslie Headland, it's best described that as of right now, both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are busy with shows such as the Ahsoka series and even the Book of Boba Fett while they also develop Mando season three and four. Now, it's described, however, that recently Kathleen Kennedy has been running into tons of trouble with the Acolyte series as new issues are beginning to actually rise for the TV show. It's best described that currently both Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Headland are beginning to fall into creative differences on how the show's finale will be done in order to connect to the prequel trilogy films by George Lucas. This is said to be Kennedy's attempt to reframe the prequel trilogy and that some of the many co-writers working with Leslie Headland are absolutely against this idea as well. Further, it's described that Kathleen Kennedy is beginning to realize that this show may not make the 2022 release and that it's looking more likely to get delayed until 2023. Many of the Disney higher-ups, such as the board members, are very angry with Kathleen Kennedy creating such a stir for the new Star Wars TV series and that this act of her creating more problems with production and costing Disney more money is getting Disney to lose patience with this new Star Wars project. Now, Kennedy had already fired multiple co-writers from the series, which also set back production multiple times already. The Disney board members that once supported Kathleen Kennedy, surprisingly, are already beginning to turn against her after creating such issues with, with of course, production for this new High Republic era TV show. Now, here's the thing that really does stand out the most when it comes to Star Wars, is that given that Kathleen Kennedy is the one that, you know, really fired Gina Carano from Lucasfilm, or should I say from The Mandalorian Season 3, and how she blamed it on how she was creating a toxic environment, we can see that Kathleen Kennedy is not the one that really is all too bright when it comes to Star Wars. So you wouldn't really think Kathleen Kennedy would run into creative problems with Leslie Headland of all people, who by the way, at times can be a little bit more worse than Kathleen Kennedy and her vision of the Star Wars universe. In fact, a couple of months ago we went over this, that Leslie Headland even said that she doesn't necessarily believe that the philosophy of George Lucas should remain intact and that new opportunities should rise. So, in my point of view, the philosophy of George, the philosophy of George Lucas should always remain. That is for certain. That is one thing that needs to actually stay in place 
that is one thing that a lot of fans need to realize is that George Lucas really created this back in 77 and if it weren't for him we wouldn't have Star Wars period ever you know and when we look at that fact they should really respect George for who he is and for what he did with the overall franchise it just seems like Kathleen Kennedy does not care about George at all and she never really did. I mean, that's pretty much a fact at this point. She backstabbed him when it came to the sequel movies. It seems like she's trying to do it again on Disney Plus when it comes to the Acolyte TV show. I wanna focus in on this finale of the TV series because the finale of this TV series is a big deal. So Kathleen Kennedy basically wants to use the finale of the Acolyte to reframe the prequel trilogy ever by throwing in tons of retcons and throwing in tons of, you know, resets, if you will, that's going to essentially rewrite aspects of episodes one through three. Now, not a big surprise, but given that Kathleen Kennedy wants to create a all the more powerful character known as Maeve, who's going to be portrayed by actress Brie Larson. That character is said to be a Jedi God, in a sense, that's going to be more powerful than Luke, Anakin, and yes, even Rey from the sequel trilogy movies. That's when you know it's going a little way too overboard to the point where it sounds very ridiculous, where it just does not make all that much sense. Here's the other thing that I think is steering things in the right direction is that there are some board members over at Disney that are now beginning to realize that Kathleen Kennedy is not fit for Star Wars. And those particular board members are the ones that once supported Kathleen Kennedy 100%. This speaks volumes, this tells us that a lot of things are beginning to shift, a lot of things are beginning to actually turn to the better, you know, side of Star Wars, and we can see that happening before our very own eyes. I think that John and Dave are gonna do incredible things. We've talked about this before in the past of how they themselves are very excited to bring in tons of Star Wars Legends material, to bring in tons of the stories that fans really grew up with in the 90s and the early 2000s. So that's another thing to really be proud of. You know, the fact that John and Dave are really going to be taking advantage of their promotions over at Lucasfilm and how that's really going to have a major impact on how Star Wars can be more of a positive thing instead of this controversial aspect between the fandom. So like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.